Okay, now it is the guardian's turn. So let's go ahead and walk on by. And we're anytime he pulls or lunges, stop. There you go. Stay on this as close as you can to the side of the sidewalk. There you go. And just keep walking. Don't, try not to stop. There you go. Oh, that was great. You don't have to do the focus because he sat down. He's paying attention. So take three squares. Keep going. Uh, focus. focus. Relax the leash. Pop it. More, much more intense. Oh, there we go. All right, now turn around and, and at a casual pace, walk until you get close to the tree. And if, relax your arm. You're putting tension on it. Pop it. There you go. Now briskly walk all the way past. Pop it. Pop it. Uh, you're too close and the dog is right there. So just keep on walking all the way past it. Keep going. A couple more steps. Right there, do a focus. Right there. Focus. Relax the leash. All right, now turn around and put him on your left side. Keep him on the grass. Do not let him on the sidewalk. So shorten up the leash. There you go. Keep going. Pop it. A little bit more intensely of a, on the pop. And go ahead and walk by. Keep on walking until you get about right here. And this is where you're going to stop. So just walk normally and pop it. Pop it and walk, but don't redirect. Just pop it. Pop again. There you go. Keep walking a little bit brisker. There we go. Stop right there. Do the focus. Now this is very challenging. The other dog is right there. You're not as experienced a handler as I am and you're getting a pretty good result. If you practice this for a week, you'll be able to walk and he'll be walking by looking up at you the whole time, won't even you need to stop. All right, let's keep on walking. Stop right there and do another one. Focus. Focus. Pop, pop and relax the leash. One thing I want you to remember when you're watching this later on, you have a tendency to keep the leash tense and you're pulling him right there. So just keep on walking, let your arm go limp and just keep walking. Now uh, go ahead and do another focus right there. Yeah, perfect. So again, this is going to take a little bit of practice, yeah. but this is night and day. You probably avoid walking by this thing yeah. just because of this. And now you yeah, have an opportunity no. to practice it. All right. Um, I'll tell you what, then let's do this. So this is a real world encounter. Yes. <laughs> Let me have this. We have somebody walking by. Uh, so I'm going to have you hold this. Okay. And we're still filming, so. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to, uh, let's go ahead and have you come kind of in the middle of the street since we don't have a lot of traffic. Okay. Come here. Do you mind if we walk by you? Do you mind if we walk by you? Yeah, well, this guy likes to bark at other dogs, so I'm helping fix it. Do you mind if we walk by you? Perfect. Is that an Eskimo? Is that an Eskimo? Is that a, a, a Pomeranian or an Eskimo? Pom? Okay. Excellent. No, you be good. Yeah, you can see him. Be good. He's all tense. Yeah. Hi. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. Shh, no. Stop. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Have a good one. So I was trying to do a couple things at once. As you can see, that's pretty intense for him. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see me. Um, <laughs> that's all right. Um, so this is a pretty advanced exercise. Yeah. Now, because that is a dog without a barrier between. You mm -hmm. can tell across the street that there's a barrier. That there's some safety, So yeah. if you're walking and you encounter the same sort of experience, walk you know, into the street, walk around a car, increase the distance initially. Okay. But eventually, you should be able to say, focus, and he's, he's walking, he's looking up at you, and the other dog passes by. It'll take a little bit of practice, but yeah. we saw that he can do it. It's just going to be a little bit of practice work. Yeah. All right.